Hey guys, we have the JBL Live headphones and in this video we want to explain to you how to connect these headphones to a Windows laptop or desktop computer and we are going to explain how to do this over Bluetooth as well as the wired connection. Now in this case we have here the JBL Live 460 NC but it does work in the same way for any other model of the JBL Live series. So we start out with the connection over Bluetooth and in order to connect this to our laptop here in the background, the first thing we have to do is of course to turn on the headphones. So we're just going to slide here the slider up just for a second. And then we should see the LED light up here. Now right now you see this is constantly white, but it should be blinking in blue, which indicates that the headphones are in the Bluetooth pairing mode. And in case it doesn't blink blue for you, just press here the Bluetooth button once on the backside of that ear cup and at least now you should definitely see the LED here blinking in blue. And this is already all we have to do on the headphones so we can now place them to the side and go over to our laptop. And here we're going to switch to our Bluetooth settings menu and we reach that here in the lower right corner you should find here the Bluetooth icon. If you right click on that then you should find here the add a Bluetooth device option that will bring up the Bluetooth settings screen. So in case you don't find that Bluetooth icon in the lower right corner, then there's an alternative way to get there. And that is by going here on the lower left corner and just typing in here Bluetooth. And here you should definitely find now Bluetooth here, Bluetooth and other device settings. So we're going to click on that and that will bring us to the exact same screen. Now the first thing we have to do here is make sure that Bluetooth is turned on. So in case yours is turned off right now, just flip the switch, turn Bluetooth on, and then we're clicking here on the top on the plus button. This will bring up this little pop-up where we can select the very first option here, Bluetooth. So we're going to click on that, and now the computer is going to search for other Bluetooth devices nearby, and eventually it's going to find the JBL Live. So, but you see here, it finds two versions of those, and one of them ends with with the uh, LE and the other one does not have the LE and we want to select here the lower one, the one that does not have the LE in it and other, underneath you can also see it says audio. So we're going to select that and now the headphones are already paired with our laptop and they are ready to be used and you can see here we can use them for voice so we can make uh, phone calls with them and we can use them for music. But now there is one more setting that we may have to look at depending on what we want to use our headphones for. So if we just want to listen to music with them or YouTube videos, then our setting is already fine. But in case we also want to use the microphone, then we want to enter here the sound playback options. And this brings us to a little bit different screen. And you see here at the very top, we can select the output device. And right now we have here JBL Live 460 stereo. So this is what you're going to select if you just want to listen to music and you're not going to use the microphone. In case we do want to use the microphone, then we should select the option with the hands-free at the end. And now when we go further down a little bit, there we find the input device. And here we also have to select now the JBL Live hands-free version. So this allows us then to use the microphone of our headphones as the input device. So when we're going to do Zoom calls or something like that. Okay, so connecting our headphones with Bluetooth is now completed and they're ready to be used. And now, in, just in case you want to use the wired connection, then you can use the uh, cable that comes with the headphones. And this has, of course, your two ends and they're a little bit different. One is a little bit smaller and one is a little bit bigger. You see these? And the smaller one, that's the one that goes here into the uh, side of the one ear cup just right into that hole. Just have to make sure you press it in all the way. And the opposite end, of course, we're going to connect here with our computer. And you have to consider that, at least in this case here, with the uh, Live 460 and C, the uh, microphone of these headphones is not supported when you use the wired connection. You can see this because the uh, connector here actually has just three of these metal uh, contacts so the microphone is not supported when you're going to use the wired connection you may be able to use a different cable that has a microphone included those do exist and also some 
of uh, the JBL headphones may come with a different cable that do support the microphone. But now that we do have the headphone connected, they are immediately ready to be used. We don't even need to turn on the uh, power in order to uh, hear the music. Just in case you do want to use the active noise cancellation, then we need to turn on the uh, headphones. We just use the slider here on the front and then you have the uh, button on the back side to uh, activate or deactivate the active noise cancellation and just in case you want to use that. Okay, so this was already it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.